meeting you go ahead oh hi welcome back to saturday daybreak this is julianne Bitley. Mm -hmm. hello the beautiful julianne Bitley. oh thank you of health and nutrition counseling and your website is wellness in little rock dot com that's right or we can reach you at julianne.bitley at gmail.com yes i'd love to hear from you uh and and if you ever have the opportunity to eat with her, spread. it's good too. She brought some wonderful things. What are we doing? Today we're making a superfood and gluten-free and allergen-free, hopefully. Um, we can make it that way for everyone. It is amazingly good for you and it tastes even better. So a lot of people have not heard of this grain called quinoa. Quinoa. Spelled with a Q. This is the That's hottest so grain out there. I'm telling say. you, it's Q-U-I-N-O-A, right? Yes. It's, You've heard I'm of it. seeing it all over. I've never heard of it. Everywhere. It's delicious what? and it's um, one of the world's <laughs> healthiest foods. So it's really good for you and it tastes pretty good too. I mean, I know healthy food doesn't isn't notorious for tasting delicious, but the, trust me, this is good. Um, so what we do first is you buy your quinoa. You can buy it in the bulk section at Whole Foods or, um, you know, they have it packaged. I believe Bob's Red Mill makes some. And the most important thing to do is to rinse it. So would this be about the size bowl that you would use sure. for breakfast? Certainly. Sure. Yeah. Maybe so, a little bigger. You know, a little bigger. But, okay. But that's we're going to okay. go with health. We're going yeah. healthy. That's right. So what we can That's right. Portion control. That's right. No control. Oh, no, no, no. I don't no. do portion no. control. I really? eat till I'm full. Okay. That's because crazy. if it's healthy food, I've been told then you're supposed to, you can eat a little bit more. That's right. And Just you a little bit. won't want as much. There you go. So, cuz you'll be nourished inside and Like out. fruits, vegetables, you can eat as much as you want. That's right. Fantastic. Okay, so she's put the quinoa yes. in the strainer thingy. Right. right, and we want to get all the icky stuff out. Um, a lot of times when things are stored, they get some ick, you know, from being stored, and you just want to wash that out of there. So just rinse it. You know, we don't really have a working sink, so I'm... So we're rinsing off our grain. That's right. Okay. Just rinse off your grain. Just do it in the sink. That's our sink doesn't work. Yeah. Go. And okay. if you have a rice cooker at home and you're lazy like I am, you can put it in your rice cooker. And it is like rice. You do one part quinoa to two parts water. So same difference. So I measured this about two or three bowls full. I'm just going to stick it in there and measure out. And I don't even use measuring cups. I basically use what I think I'm going to eat that day. And I cook once, eat twice. That's very important. Interesting. Because when I wake up in the morning, I'm a zombie, and so sometimes it's, you know. So this is good stuff. This is like the, the super cereal, you were saying, kind of. Yes. If you're waking up early and you have time and you can have, make this, then you're going to be able to seize the day, as they say. That's right. I'm just fascinated that she's doing it in the rice cooker. Keep going. Yes, okay. So then you get it in the rice cooker, and it'll, you know, of course, ding, and the, the light will go off, and you'll be like, oh, yeah, breakfast is ready. Um, or what I do. <laughs> oh, breakfast is ready. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! -hoo. All right, so um, here are some finished quinoa. You can make it the same way you would rice um, in the same way as this. It's about 15 minutes. Remember, one part um, quinoa to two parts water. Sure, with the finished product, lift it up again. Let's see. So is it kind of like rice? It looks kind of like, like rice. Rice orzo-like. Yeah, yeah. Um, couscous, couscous sort of. Couscous, that's what it looks like. Couscous. couscous. That's exactly what that's it is. That's what it is. Yes. But it's gluten-free, and um, it is, is a perfect protein. So it's great for vegetarians that are looking to get some protein in their diet or just anyone that may be deficient. So serve it up however you like. It's the vehicle for the yumminess that you're going to add into it. I so like it's like oatmeal. Nobody's like, oh man, I really want some oatmeal. They're like, man, I want some cinnamon and maple syrup and butter on my oatmeal. <laughs> so <laughs> it's the base that you put the good stuff on. Right. It could be the grits or the oatmeal, but now it's the quinoa. And now it's the quinoa. That's right. I so um, I have um, strawberries and blueberries and raspberries raspberries and blackberries and, and apples honey and honey and, and, and sugar and butter. No, no sugar. No okay. sugar. Oh, sorry. Just local honey. What's good that? for allergies. And this is maple syrup. That is coconut butter. See, I thought it was sugar. There Which is go. also a superfood. Coconut so, butter. Coconut butter. It's really? Delicious. Yes. So I will let you fix your bowl however you like. All right. Um, and we've got some cinnamon here and some maple syrup here, Renee. I'll get you some too. Awesome. Todd is definitely awesome. coming in to get some awesome. of this. Yeah. I got to try some of this. Can Todd have this little bitty baby bowl? Sure. Yeah. Come on, now be nice. I'll have the little baby bowl. <laughs> 
So you just dress it up however you want, and as long as it's healthy food like this with no sugar, then it remains something that you can just have and not worry about eating something that's not healthy. Okay. Right, and I use, um, we're dairy free at our house. Okay. So we use almond milk and coconut milk in it to make it like a hot cereal. You'll want to add some of that to it, because like I said, you don't want to eat it plain. You want to put the good stuff not in bad. it. It's not awful plain. It just, it, it could, it could be better. Right. This is Tell them your email address Butter. again, and how do or they get this from you? Uh, you can visit my website, www.wellnessinlitterock.com. Oh. Um, you can subscribe the there to a, a monthly free newsletter with health and nutrition tips and uh, lots of good recipes. And um, you can also find out more about my practice where I do holistic health and wellness um, counseling. Butter. And we got to let yeah. Todd do the work. Right, let's do Thank some you so much for being here. Julianne, thank you. This is thank delicious. You.